Hello everyone. In the last video, we introduced MakerBase new product MKS DLC 3.2 Suite. This video mainly introduces the main usage of MKS DLC 3.2. First look at the MKS DLC 3.2 motherboard interface. If you have used the MKS DLC motherboard, you will find that the interface is basically the same. In fact, the board size and mounting holes are also compatible with MKS DLC. First plug in the motor drive. Then connect the display. Connect the fan and laser head. Please pay attention to whether your laser head is driven by TTL or 1224 VPWM directly and then connect it to the corresponding interface. Then connect the XE axis and stop and motor. After the wiring is completed, let the motherboard power on and check whether the engraving machine is working properly. Next, we need to modify the parameters of DLC 3.2 to adapt to your engraving machine parameters. There are two ways to configure parameters. One is to configure through a configuration file and the other is to configure through a USB connection to a computer. First look at the way to use the configuration file. You need to download the file from GitHub. Unzip the downloaded compressed package. Find and open the DLC CFG.txt file. Here you can see the explanation of the corresponding parameters. Parameters can be modified here. Modify the corresponding configuration items according to your engraving machine needs. After modifying the parameters, save to the root directory of the SD card, and then insert the SD card into the motherboard to update. After the update is complete, power on again and it can be used normally. Let's take a look at the configuration method of using the host computer. Open the laser GABL or light burn software or other serial port tools on the PC. And modify the configuration items. Here we take laser gravel as an example for specific configuration commands. Please refer to MKS GitHub. Use USB cable to connect motherboard and PC. And then select the corresponding COM port and click connect. After the connection is successful, click the menu GABL. And then select GABL configuration to modify the parameters. Double click the value of the parameter that needs to be modified and then enter a new value. Click right after the modification is completed. The parameter has been modified successfully at this time. The offline control interface of MKS DLC 3.2 is very friendly, as detailed below. The main interface of the touchscreen can display the current coordinates. 
laser power, Wi-Fi connection status and other information. The laser control interface can perform low light turn on, half power turn on, and turn off operations on the laser head. The motor control interface can perform software zero return, hardware zero return, and movement at different speeds for the stepper motor. The tool menu is mainly used to connect the DLC32 to the internet. It is very convenient to scan the surrounding Wi-Fi hotspots. Select the hotspots and enter the password to connect. In the engraving interface, you can select the NC file on the TF card for offline engraving. In addition, you can move and patrol before engraving. By the way, if the NC file is relatively large, the patrolling speed is slower, you can use MKS NC tool to processing the NC file can greatly speed up the patrolling speed. After entering the engraving interface, you can also perform many operations. First click the Wi-Fi icon on the home page to connect to the hotspot. Choose a hotspot to connect. After the MKS DLC32 is connected to the internet, you can use its web function. And the current motherboard IP address will be displayed. Connect the PC to the same LAN as the DLC32 and enter the motherboard IP address in the browser. Next is the detailed function introduction of the web interface. 